Conceslas Kiprito won the men's 300 meter steeplechase gold by setting an Olympic record. A Kenyan runner has stood on the podium at the men's 300 meter steeplechase at every Olympiad since 1984. On Wednesday, Conceslas Kiprito extended that streak in the night straight Olympics. The 30 year old overtook American Evan Jaeger and crossed the finish line in 8.03.29 to win the event. He succeeded in setting an Olympic record despite slowing down and waving to the crowd over the final 150 meters. Jaeger was second while Ezekiel Kemboy took home the bronze. Kenyans have owned the spot in the past three decades and Kiprito's gold was the nation's 20th in world championship competition in the past 32 years. IOC executive arrested accused of scalping tickets. A top Olympic official was arrested for illegally selling tickets for the real games, according to multiple published reports on Wednesday. The arrest of Patrick Hickey was part of a larger probe into tickets allotted to Ireland that were being scalped at the Summer Games. Irish broadcast outlet RTE reported that Hickey faces three charges which, if convicted, would lead to as many as seven years in prison. IOC spokesman Mac Adams said the allegation centered on 1,000 tickets belonging to the Irish National Olympic Committee. Adams added that IOC is not representing Hickey in his legal proceedings. Hickey, a former Irish judo champion, was elected as Ireland's IOC representative in 1995 and the IOC's executive board in 2012. He ran on the post in 2013 to serve another four-year term as president of the European Olympic Committees. Hickey, 71, was not in his room when police arrived with the warrant Wednesday morning, according to reports. His wife told police he had returned to Ireland, but he was found elsewhere in the hotel. Olympic athletes get out and about in Rio de Janeiro. The event at the Olympic Parks in Barra and Deodoro, as well as venues elsewhere in the city, might not be your only chance of seeing the athletes, especially if you're within Rio. Many of the 11,000 plus athletes at the Games have been spotted taken in the sites around the Carioca capital from Copacabana to Cocovado, the Sugarloaf Mountain, the Bohemian Night Sport Lapper and more. Here are a few we caught out here. Mary Hanna, an equestrian competitor and the oldest member of the Australian team, poses with shooter Aslin Jones, the youngest member on Ipanema Beach. On Monday afternoon, British boxer Joe Codiner took a trip up the Cocovado to see the popular Christ the Redeemer statue. Around the same time, seven kilometers away, Cody Miller was on top of the Guanabara Bay. Sugarloaf Mountain, peak of Rio de Janeiro, taking photos with other members of the American swimming team. The Russian handball team had two days free before, during the competition, and like many visitors, decided to also visit Christ the Redeemer and the Sugarloaf. The only challenge the Russian team faced was getting to grip with the unfamiliar place names. But the important thing is that handball player Anna Petrenko, also known as Anna Sen, enjoyed her time on Copacabana Beach. Canadian Kano Sprint pair Casey Fraser and Genevieve Oton also made it to Copacabana Beach in their case three days ahead of their final, which took place on Tuesday, August 16. The U.S. men's basketball team visited Ipanema Beach this week, throwing an oval-shaped ball around for a change. Their counterparts on the women's team decided to mix things up a little more and explore Rio's lively Lapa neighborhood, posting a shot on the iconic Stellaron staircase. Shine in Rio, brought to you by... Tisalat, now you're talking.